Hi, welcome to my video on how to reference a class object in a separate file. I have another video on within the same file. This is the gist for it. As you can see, it just is simply class, and then later down in the file, you reference the class object. I've, I haven't. I don't actually have the gist for this one, but I'm using a, an example. So what you're going to do is create an object similar. So here's class car, or I also have class S3, and the idea here is you reference the path to the class. So in this case, um, I have my main file, and I want to get the class of car. So I'm using from, and then the path is uh, rover lib slash car dot py. So it'd be rover lib dot car import, and I can import all classes within that file, or I can I literally instead of star type in car. So we're gonna do a demo here. I have my previous video's demo there. Um, so here's um, main.py, we're gonna call that, that's gonna reference our class. So, um, and we're gonna call our class car, let's say. So I'm gonna call this car.py, just so there's a di you see the difference between um, the actual file and the class name. So class car object is what our, our class will be called. And we're gonna start create our ni initial value self, and then it, we don't need anything. Because all we care about is the actual referencing of it being properly created. And you see, you don't need to export anything or anything like that. And then in our main file, we're going to say from, well, our path is essentially nothing. Um, if we were to put it into a folder, we'll do that too. Call this one boat.py, not board boat, and class boat object def init. Um, and so, what we will first do is go um, from car.p car import, and we'll put star for now. and we're going to go, we're going to create a new car object, so not this file, but this file. Car1 is equal to car. You don't have to pass anything in, there's no semicolon in Python. And that should print out, um, yeah, created. So we're going to run that. Um, I'm, I'm in my, this is a terminal, I'm in the Python demo folder. So um, as you can see, my files are there. I'm going to type in python main.py. So as you can see, it printed out, yeah, yeah, created. And so now we're gonna instead we're gonna also add our boat class. So it'd be other dot boat, because that's our file name. Boat is our file name. And then it's instead of star, we're gonna use the actual boat object. And so it would be let's say boat one equals the boat object. And this will now say boats, boats, boats. But after it says yeah, created. So I'm gonna run it again. Python main. Uh, no module name. I typed something wrong. Let's try this again. Maybe if I change this to star, just to make sure that works. Okay, no module name other slash boat. Um, init. Oh. oh. Sorry, the yes, I meant for an close. You have to create an init.py file in the folder. So if I go to other here, I type in init.py and hit enter. And now I run it. Yeah, boats, boats, boats. And so that's where that no module named other.boat comes in. So this init.py is very important. As you can see, it compiles the um, .pyc uh, class. So if you have a git ignore or you think GitHub repo, include that in your git. The dot the dot .pyc, include that in your git ignore. Thanks for watching this video. Sorry about that little mix up. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, also check out the other videos.